Uh, Andy, um, we've got uh, exciting prospects this season. If you'd uh, like to fill us in on what's going to be happening. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be, I think, a very exciting season um, in terms of our development programme for our EDS uh, players. We have, we'd like to think we've modernised it to, to create uh, the right environment and the right way forward to develop each of our individual players. You know, um, and we still obviously got a, a really good sort of EDS group that I'm working with up here. Um, you know, and, and it's going to be very exciting. And I can I can tell that the uh, the lads are up for it as well because from what I'm hearing, uh, quite a few of them turned up early for uh, for pre-season training. Yeah, they've been, yeah, we've been very good. I mean, obviously the, the 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 one that everybody's excited about, certainly the younger ones, is the next gen league that we're, we're entering into. Uh, which is where we play Barcelona, Marseille and Celtic and that's going to be uh, an excellent standard of football that we're all uh, really looking forward to and working towards. And I mean this year we felt uh, that we needed to, as I said before, modernise our uh, EDS development programme and we decided that in order to do that and to create the right environment for each individual that, that we would not see the Premier Reserve League uh, as a viable option this year. Um, that's not to say that we won't have as many games as we had last year, we certainly will um, because obviously we're entering the next gen league. We've still got our Manchester Senior Cup fixtures, uh, we've entered the Lancashire Senior Cup and we're going to have some very high profile fixtures throughout the season that we feel will benefit our players, uh, especially as, as we link in quite heavily with the first team group. Um, and as we all know, Roberto will use the young players for training and playing and, and this year we're, we're at first team level we're going on four fronts. We're going on the Carling Cup and the Premier League, the Champions League, the FA Cup to try to retain it. So we've got a lot of fixtures already in-house. We're, we're looking to make sure that these boys train and play as, as much as they have done in the past. So we still have a really good programme. Now the, the boys are uh, kicking off at uh, Altrincham on Saturday. Um, I understand you've already got one or two taste of European friendlies uh, yeah. in the pipeline. Yeah, that's right. I mean, we're looking, we, we start at Altrincham on Saturday, then we go to Staley Bridge. Uh, the team that we'll have will, will be a, a combination of, of a lot of the under 18s and uh, some that haven't gone on the tour to America. So we've still got a really good team. I believe one or two of the senior players are, are, are looking to be involved as well, which will, will be great in the first two games. After that, we travel to play uh, Espanyol in Spain, on the, um, which we're all looking forward to on a Saturday night. The week after, we go to Holland to play Nijmegen. Uh, so they're really exciting friendlies and, and they'll help us prepare for this next gen series of games. Um, you know, and travelling to Europe and back, we're doing everything as professionally as we possibly can and, and it's going to create a good environment for our development of our boys. And of course some of the, uh, some of the teams that you would have been playing in the, uh, in the Premier League, you are still going to be uh, playing against them, for instance Liverpool. Yeah that's right, we've, we've got a friendly now, uh, I've spoken to Liverpool and we're putting our best teams out, I think we're playing them uh, in, on August the uh, 10th I think it was, in a friendly at Hyde. So we're going to be looking to play as many of those high profile games, we'll still have Arsenal, we'll still have Chelsea, you know, we'll still have those games um, and also we're looking to uh, make sure that we play teams that are in the next gen league that we haven't actually drawn in this Champions League. Those 16 teams there, for example, people like Ajax, Sporting Lisbon, we're looking to go to play them out there and they're looking to come to play us here. So we're trying to make uh, the level of our development for our boys higher maybe than, than we've had in the past, you know. Um, and we've had two very exciting prospects arrive over the summer period in Denis Suarez and Kareem Rekic. You know, so we're, we're, we're all uh, pushing on very well. Do you want to tell us a little bit about uh, the two new boys? Yeah, I mean, Denis Suarez is a, a Spanish boy that we got from Celta Vigo. He's, he's like a number 10 player. He plays off the front. He's got fantastic feet, um, you know, c uh, scores, scores goals. He's a, a Spanish international. Um, now, he, at this moment in time, has gone away with the first team on tour. So that's a, a great start for him. And, uh, and when he comes back, he'll be slipping into my group and between us and the first team. And, and uh, we're very excited about him. Uh, Kareem Rekic is the under-17 national captain for Holland. Um, a strong centre-half, really good on the ball. Uh, can head it really well as well. So, uh, a, a big guy. Um, so we're hoping that he's going to develop. At the moment, he's settling down, training with me every day. Uh, and he'll be playing on Saturday at Altrincham. Uh, and on Wednesday at Staley Bridge and obviously as, as many games as we can get in this season. So we're very excited about both those acquisitions. Sounds like we're going to have a, a strong competitive squad and, and in a way 
we're stepping into the unknown here, aren't we? This is a pioneering project involving not just City, but some of the other top teams in Europe. Absolutely, and we feel we felt it was the way forward because we were obviously to, to play at this level. Our first team is such a high level now that we've got to find ways of, of bridging the gap between reserve team football, if you like, and first team football. And this is a way of doing it, playing our best you know, uh, under 18s and under 19s in this next gen uh, league. But also, you know, we have the, the loans programme that's going to help us bridge that gap as well. Because at this moment in time, we're hoping that, you know, the way this season looks, that the under 18 team, the academy team will play 16 year olds and 17 year olds in that. In the EDS squad I have to play in the next gen, we're looking at our under 18 players. Uh, our under-19 players are looking, and the 20-year-olds are obviously out on loan, for example, people like Ben uh, Me, who's gone off to Burnley. You know, Kieran at this moment in time has a, a number of championship clubs chasing him, Kieran Trippier, so we'll look to loan him out. Um, we've got David Gonzalez, the goalkeeper, out at the moment at Aberdeen. So there'll be a number of, of, of my group, again, going out on loan, the likes of Reese Wabara, Alex Nimley. Uh, those types of players will all be out on loan so it will enable us to be able to play the next gen series with that younger group so we're trying to make sure that each individual boy gets what they particularly need because last season at times in the Premier Reserve League we were holding players back from loans away from the club simply to fulfil our Premier League fixtures and, and we felt yeah that's fine and we did very well we finished second in the league and we we had a really good season, but we felt for each individual boy, it might be better for them to be out on loan. So that's where our, our modernisation, if you like, of our programme has, has come from. It sounds to me like, I mean, it's going to be busy, if not hectic is probably the right word. It's also going to be a, a challenge as a coach for yourself and Scott Sellers, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah, because we're going to play against some of the best teams in Europe here and the levels are very high, but that's what we want. And we want the boys to be able to play within that system because we feel it will bring them on uh, in, in a lot of faster way than, than, than what we've had before. So first step in preparation on Saturday? Yes, uh, that's right, and we look forward to that. And, uh, and if the fans are around, we'd love, we'd love people to come and support us at Altrincham and Staley Bridge. And also, uh, you know, we promise everybody this year, again, that we'll have some really good games to play at Hyde that will be exciting. And we hope, like last year, that we, you know, we, can, we can pack Hyde, which we did one, on one or two occasions. And this year, with the, the quality of opposition that we're going to have there, we would hope that people would come along and look at our next generation, if you like, of, of our excellent young players. And still keeping the same attacking brand of football, of course. Yeah, hopefully so. I mean, that's something we work on. I mean, uh, we're, we're working on that now and, uh, and, and that is now the base over these next four or five games pre-season uh, leading into our friendlies. And then when we hit the next gen, hopefully we're, we're up there and uh, qualifying for the next stage.